Oh, Elemental 3.12 beta just landed and I've just played with it and I am surprised. Elemental are knocking it out the park. We got the mega menu, alternate templates and a little bit of an interface revamp. Let's jump in right now. Get the beta version for 3.12. You got to go over to your plugins and make sure you've got the beta version for free and for pro. But to get that, you got to go over to Elemental Tools, go over to version control and then tick this little box over here for beta tester enable. Do not do this on an actual production live site, okay? Do it in a staging or a test area or your local drive, wherever you wanna do it. Once you've got them updated to beta, go over to features and make sure you have got certain features activated. You have gotta have Flexbox container, edit a top bar, just go and act activate that as well. Nested elements has gotta be activated and you'll notice a new one down here now called menu. So make sure you activate all of those. And this is where it gets exciting because now I'm actually on an elemental header template because this is where we're gonna activate the mega menu and have a look at that. But straight away, you can see the interface change. We now have the color purple and a bit more black going on. Obviously it's meant to be nicer on the eye, especially if it's late at night. And I have to say, the first time you see it, you're gonna go, mm, but then it, it takes seconds for you to adjust and I actually quite like it. It, there's nothing out of here that's going to throw you okay. It's very simple. Add element, you know, the site settings, the structure, you know, the structure over there that you can activate or deactivate. See the title, you can now have the settings cog that used to be in the bottom left down here. Well, now you just click over here and it'll take you to the settings. You still have your responsive mode and obviously you got your finder button there, help and the preview and the publish. So what used to be down here is now shifted to the top and you have the facility to click on the E here here to now go and look at things like your history, your theme builder, the user preferences, and also manage website to go straight back into WordPress. This is all pretty, pretty good. And the user preference, in case you were wondering, it's basically that, okay? And of course, the traditional sidebar is still there and the icons look a little bit cleaner than, I mean, I might have to do a side-by-side -side comparison one day, but right now they're all looking pretty good to me. Right, let's get started onto the big feature that so many people have been asking about for a long time, the mega menu. We have over here a container. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna type in menu. It's this one over here. And I'm gonna drop this in there. And what happens is I straight away get items one, two, and three. Even though I have set up a menu on WordPress, it's automatically gonna bring this over. So normally when you were bringing over your nav menu, it would default to your nav menu and then you picked a different one. Here it just goes to item one, two and three. I'm gonna get rid of all of that and just have item one. I'm gonna change the title of this to be home because that's my first item. And then I'm gonna decide on where does that actually go. Now, what you wanna do is click the dynamic tag and then you wanna click internal URL. Now, at this point, when you click the spanner and wrench and then start doing this, you're gonna see content taxonomy media author and you might sort of go, well, what's all that? Doesn't make no sense. Leave it on content, okay? And then another drop down appears. Now, just go over here and type in home. And there's my homepage. And that's basically it. That's all I had to do. Of course, you would go in and play around. By the way, I'm not gonna go into tablet or mobile mode here because it's basically containers, Flexbox styling. You can do what you want. But that's all you had to do to set up the home. Now, I'm gonna set up a duplicate and I'm gonna rename this duplicate to be, uh, I'm just gonna call it shop because this is a test website I got. I'm again gonna click the spanner wrench because it's already set to the internal URL because I duplicated. And down here, I'm just gonna type in the word shop and I should have it, there you go. And that now gives me my two items. However, neither of them are actually a mega menu. I'm not gonna do anything for the home, but for the shop one, you will now see an option here called drop down content. Now, as soon as I do that, an arrow appears to point down there. And if I click that, can you now see there's a new window opened up, another container basically. If I click that now, that's disappeared. Let's click it again and look, we now have another container. I could now drop widgets into here. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I am now going to pick, let's just go for something like that, okay? I can pick whatever container layout and I can add columns, you know, change it to rows and wrap text, whatever I wanna do. I'm keeping this really simple. I'm just gonna go over now and I'm gonna pop in a image. 
like that. And we'll just pick any image that I've got over here. I'm really just trying to show to you how this works. So simple and easy. I'm just going to go now and grab a text editor. Let's drop that in. And you know what? While we're here, I'm going to go and drop in a icon list as well like that. So I could drop in another nav menu if I wanted to, an accordion. You could do whatever you want. I could drop in a video as well. That is how simple and easy it is. And I haven't really set the boxed width, the full width, anything like that. I'm just trying to show you how it works. Once you allow the drop down content, that's it. You can build away. Now, what I do want to point out, though, is that if you go down to drop down effect, we're still on the first tab, by the way. Here's where you can decide on is this going to be a hover or a click? I quite like the hover effect. You can also decide on any animation as in like a fade in effect. So when you do, um, by the way, until you go into preview mode, you do have to click it. So you can see what it was doing there. OK, you can also decide on the time delay. Anyway, let me just show you what this looks like. So if we now go over to preview and I hover over home, nothing happens. I hover over shop. I mean, look at that. And I can interact with it. If this was interactable URLs or, you know, nav menus or a video, I could I could interact with it. That's brilliant. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, this is so simple and easy to use. It's brilliant. But now let's talk about the next feature, the loop alternate template. So here we have is a loop grid. You know the drill. You go and drop a loop grid in and then you hit edit template. And all I've got is like a featured image and the title. I'm not doing any styling here, OK? What if you want to have a different style that now applies to item number two or every second item that we have on here? This is how easy it is, OK? We've already got a loop grid. Like I said, we've already created a template. You will now see an option down here that says apply an alternate template. Let's go and click it. And what I'm going to do is I am going to now um, click that and I am going to add in a new template. So I'm going to click create template. Let's just hit save for now. Remember, you've created your initial loop grid. And what you now do is create your second template. So I'm going to go and get the featured image like that. I'm going to set the height of this to be a 300 with a cover like that. And then I'm going to grab the title. And whereas in my original version, the title was below the image and now putting the title above. I'm not messing around with the styling here too much. I just want to show you how this works. What I'm then going to do is hit publish. Now, this template, uh, by the way, if you're unsure of it, it's item 206. So when I hover over the title there, I can see what it is. So now we're back to our original loop grid down here where we had alternate template. I'm going to type in 206 and there it is. I will now pick that. But at the moment, nothing is changing. All of the posts still look the same. And by the way, this has been set up to show you four uh, going across, even though it's got five at the moment. Yeah, five and it's going four across. This is not applying at the moment because I haven't actually told it which position to do it in. So if I go and hit a one, it does it to the first post. If I change that to be a two, it does it to the second post, but it won't do it to the fourth one because it's only applying once. Let's remove that. It will now apply it to number two and number four. See the alternation we've got going on there. But here's what's really, really cool, right? See how thick number four is there or post four. It's only one column wide. If I say make this be two columns wide, look, look what happens. Post four now is split over two columns. I'm getting this alternating effect. And I know what I've done here looks ridiculously rubbish. But can you now start to, is your brain juices flowing with ideas about what you could do with this? Again, alternating is super cool. And here's where it gets really, really amazing. And this is why I'm getting excited about this. You could add in another one. So item one could have one style. Item two could have another style. Item three or seven or whatever number you decide to pick, you could have another completely different alternating template style. You're not restricted to just one. You could have more than one. And look, I can go here and then create another template. How cool and crazy is that? I mean, we all got excited about the loop grid and the carousel. And this isn't just for blog posts. Remember, you can use this for products as well.
But what if you're still getting used to using Loop Grid? Well, let me just pop one in from scratch, okay? And when you do click create a template, you normally got a create a template. But what you now have is the facility whereby if you hit the gray folder, you now have some predefined styles to help you out. So if you're a little bit unsure of what you're doing, go and insert one of these and then start playing around. Again, this is a nice little extra little nice thingy thing from Elemental for you. But let's not stop there. Let's go over to the cart. If you now drop in the menu cart, we always had the option where we could start to pick like from a range of icons in terms of how you're going to display the menu cart. Well, now you've got the custom option. So you can now drop in whatever SVG you want. And to wrap it all up, let's go and drop in the icon loss. In the past, if you wanted to modify how this sat or looked on your website, you'd have to pop in a bit of CSS. No more. You can now go over to the style option, go down to icon and look at this. You can start to adjust how it basically sits. Is it going to be at the top, in the middle, in the bottom, or even where do you want it? I mean, we now have extra styling options that we've probably been asking for for quite a while. For me, the mega menu is a big one. Not everyone's going to use it. I don't use them on many websites, but when you do need it, you're not going to have to go and use an alternate plugin or even some lengthy code as well. This is super good. And yes, I like the alternating templates as well in the loop grid, but the mega menu, I think, is brilliant. And what I will also add is you don't have to use it just for the mega menu. Think out the box here. You could have a section on your page maybe where you've listed some items in whatever, however you decide to arrange it. And then you could click or hover and it starts to reveal more details. It doesn't just have to be in your header. It could be anywhere on your page. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag.